So what's first? What do you have for us today? All right. So let's dive in first with nuts. And I'm a nut for nuts. Nuts have always I'm been a, nut a for nuts staple. Too. Good, good. And, you know, there's mm -hmm. studies that show eating nuts every day actually prolong your life. So we know nuts are healthy. But one of the reasons they're healthy is they really do feed your gut. And one nut in particular is a nut called a Baruca, Baruca nut. Now, this has been around in Brazil for a while, but it's kind of coming on now to America. This is considered one of the healthiest nuts on the planet. And why is that? It has one of the highest antioxidant quality of any nut out there, and it's chock full of fiber. You serve it roasted. That's the most nutritious way to have it. It has a skin on it, so you can have it with the skin. You can have it without the skin. Without the skin especially, it tastes kind of like a peanut. It's delicious. Um, you have to try them, Rachel. And I actually like mixing them with pumpkin seeds and raisins because we know that pumpkin seeds and raisins also have healthy, you know, gut-friendly ingredients as well. I've never had them. I want you to try them. You're going to love them. <laughs> Send me a text. Let me know. I love that tip. Thank you, my friend. What's of next? Of course. Okay, so... Fiber. Fiber is considered a prebiotic, meaning it feeds your good bacteria. That's the definition of a prebiotic. As a gastroenterologist, I probably recommend fiber to like 75% of the people that walk into my office because fiber is the number one gut health ingredient. It's good for so many different gut conditions or just overall gut health. But when we think about fiber powders, it kind of reminds you of your grandmother. It's not a very sexy thought. However, there's a new fiber powder called Bellway, which is an all natural fiber. It's got a great flavor. Um, you can actually add it to water, but I actually like to add it sometimes to cranberry juice, which is what I'm doing today. And you know, this is a great way to get, for women you need over 25 grams of fiber. Most Americans are not getting that at all. So you really want to I incorporate drink fiber. cranberry juice or pomegranate juice almost every morning in a small amount, not a huge amount. But yeah. I eat tons of dark leafy greens. I just Wonderful. prepared a soup with both beans and kale. So if you eat, when do you know if you need to supplement what you're feeding yourself? Well, when it comes to fiber, honestly, you, you kind of have to do the math because most of us, and, and I think it's amazing what you're eating in terms of all the fruits and vegetables, and I do it too. But even then, we often need a little bit more. But another way to just sort of tell from your body is if things are moving regularly, if you're going to the bathroom regularly, you have no issues in that department, that's a good sign that you're, you're getting enough fiber as well. Um, okay, next thing I want to talk about, it's not actually a food or beverage, but it's a super neat technology. So I wanted to tell you about it. And it's a, it's a better air, that's the brand, probiotic air purifier. So this is, I think, incredibly fascinating. So when you think about regular air purifiers- Wait, 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 I know, wait okay. back up. You're talking about <laughs> getting probiotics through the air? Yes, I mean, how cool is that? This is a machine that's going to disperse bacteria into the air of your home, into your rooms. And the reason wow. why it's so important, I know, it's crazy. But when you think about how allergens and germs work in the air, you know, people think, oh, they're in the air. That's how I get them. Well, they actually start on surfaces. And then if something brushes by the surface, they go into the air and then they affect Gotcha. You. What this does, the, the probiotic air purifier, is it actually disperses healthy bacteria into the air. They land on those surfaces. And get this, Rachel, these bacteria actually consume. They actually eat pet dander, dust, mold, other allergens and germs in, on the surfaces in your house. That is amazing. It's amazing to think about them actually chomping on these things that cause you problems so they're not there anymore. And they compete with those food sources with unhealthy bacteria so that you have lower amounts of unhealthy bacteria when you have these good guys around. Soda, I mean, who doesn't love soda? It's like the old nostalgic favorite, but now there's some beverage companies that are doing prebiotic soda. So healthy sodas, one's called Olipop that has some really great nostalgic flavors like root beer and cherry vanilla, um, but they also have other gut healthy ingredients, things like cinnamon and ginger. They have prebiotics from resistant starch materials, things like cassava, root or kudzu root. There's another one here from Mayo Well. They use agave nectar as their prebiotic. So I just love this idea of a healthy soda because as much as, you know, we know sodas in general have been unhealthy, who doesn't love, I mean, even just the sound of popping it open, pouring it into the glass.